Here we are on a planet which is uh, about 5,000 million years old. Uh, the sun around which it goes is not much older. It is part of a galaxy uh, which is uh, perhaps uh, 10 or 12,000 million years old, which is one of perhaps hundreds of thousands of millions of other galaxies. And none of this planets, suns, galaxies was around at the time of the Big Bang. We observe that distant galaxies are moving away from us. This means that they must have been closer together than the past. In fact, one can show that all the galaxies must have been on top of each other about 15 billion years ago. It was the beginning of the universe and of time itself. that the universe expanded in a very rapid, inflationary manner. An increase of billions of billions of percent in a tiny fraction of a second. During the inflationary period, the universe borrowed heavily from its gravitational energy to finance the creation of more matter. The most astounding fact is the knowledge that the atoms that comprise life on Earth, the atoms that make up the human body, are traceable to the crucibles that cooked light elements into heavy elements in their core under extreme temperatures and pressures. These stars, the high mass ones among them, went unstable in their later years. They collapsed and then exploded, scattering their enriched guts across the galaxy. Guts made of carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, and all the fundamental ingredients of life itself. These ingredients become part of gas clouds that condense, collapse, form the next generation of solar systems, stars with orbiting planets. And those planets now have the ingredients for life itself. the Big Bang, there was uh, energy, elementary particles, which slowly evolved into the kind of universe we know today. We are the product of a grand 
evolutionary sequence, cosmic evolution, and uh, a key unanswered and perhaps unanswerable question is where did all of that matter energy come from? What was before that? Uh, and if it was uh, made from nothing, who made it? And uh, who made the maker? So that when I look up at the night sky, and I know that yes, we are part of this universe, we are in this universe, but perhaps more important than both of those facts is that the universe is in us. When I reflect on that fact, I look up. Many people feel small because they're small and the universe is big, but I feel big because my atoms came from those stars. The universe doesn't have an end. It had a beginning in the Big Bang. One might ask what is before that. 